Okay, uh, drinking milk is going to give you cancer, and, and drinking soy milk is going to save you. Well, if you listen to Dr. Neil Bernard, you know, this is a tweet that he was tweeting out to a couple of U.S. senators. They're considering allowing plant juices to be called milk, and so a lot of people are pushing back and say there needs to be a distinction. And his comment was, yes, there should be a distinction. Cow's milk should be clearly labeled as milk linked to cancer, and soy milk should be labeled as milk that may reduce cancer risk. Let's dig a little deeper into who is uh, Dr. Neil Bernard. Now he is suffering for what appears to be vegan neck by, uh, by most measurements, uh, but that's besides the point. Now he is the medical advisor to PETA. PETA is, the, is people for the ethical treatment for animals. They are a radical, almost terroristic animal rights organization. He was nominated to the Animal Rights Hall of Fame in 2003. And so his commentary is more about animal rights than it is about health, you know, if you look at the actual literature. So he asserts that plant milk is healthy, but is that even true? This 2016 study in food and nutrition research evaluated multiple studies and concluded that, quote, some plant-based milks have sugar content equal to that of sugar-sweetened beverages, which have, of course, been linked to obesity, reduced insulin sensitivity, so it's the equivalent of drinking a Coke. Rice drinks uh, are also known to have high contents of inorganic arsenic, and some of the soy drinks have high amounts of isoflavones, which can have an estrogen-like effect. Now, he also is claiming that dairy is unhealthy. Now, again, that same study uh, showed that in adults, that intake of dairy products was shown to improve body composition and facilitate weight loss during energy restriction. In addition, intake of milk and dairy products were, were associated with neutral or reduced risk of type 2 diabetes and reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, particularly stroke. Now, are these plant-based products even safe? Well, a 2015 report in the Journal of Pediatrics reports on three case histories of children with Hematic, hematuria, which is blood in the urine, dysuria, painful urination, or kidney stones. All of them were consuming almond milk. Remember, almond milk is a very rich source of dietary oxalates. All of their problems went away when they stopped consuming that. What about the nutritional value of these? Uh, as I said, it has been tested on children in 2014 in the Journal of European PMC reported on severe nutritional deficiencies in infants between 4 and 14 months who receive these plant milks instead of real milk. Now the problems included severe protein calorie malnutrition, hypoalbuminemia, and diffuse edema. So they swelled up because they couldn't, they didn't have enough protein in their, in their uh, tissues. Status epilepticus uh, from hypocalcemia. And so they, that just meant they kept seizing uncontrollably. That's, 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 a, that's a bit of a problem. Growth arrest, secondary to insufficient calories, severe iron deficiency, anemia, rickets from vitamin D deficiency, so their bones start to bow and bend out. They concluded that milk alternative beverages expose infants to severe nutritional deficiencies. They went as far as saying, quote, statutory measures forbidding their use in young infants should be organized to slow down the progress of this social trend. So, in truth, Dr. Barnard's words appear to come more from his radical animal rights association from, than from the truth about health outcomes. So, if you're going to drink a, you know, a, a beverage, you're going to do better to stick to real milk. Let me just put a caveat in here. There clearly are some people that do not do well with dairy. You know who you are. You may have to avoid it, but don't substitute it with this garbage, you know. There are better things you can do besides drink these, these horrible plant juices as, as they are. You know, they're, sh they're full of sugar, they're full of garbage. Just avoid those completely. All right, guys, thank you very much. We'll talk to you in the next video.